channel. Thanks for joining me today. As you know, I've been doing clips on thrifting and I'm wearing a thrift shop blouse right now. It didn't sell, so I kept it. <laughs> and if uh, it's something I can't wear, I'll keep it and make something out of it. But today I'm promoting, or uh, promoting really, but um, encouraging people to, to uh, use the items that are reusable when you can. So I am making these cotton dish cloths putting them on Macari, just making a few, not like hundreds of millions of them, but um, it, and encouraging you to also either make them, you know, make them as gifts, make them to sell, um, but they're reusable and they're cotton and so you know they're earth friendly, they're of the earth, and um, this is the set I actually have on Macari and I tied it with uh, twine. I have three blue and three white. So um, there is uh, ample amount, you might say, and then they're going to be sent off in a bubble envelope. It's very small, and so it shouldn't be too much, hopefully, for shipping. Um, now, this uh, yarn that I've used uh, to, to create this dishcloth is uh, by Sugar and Cream. And the stitch that I used, I'm going to show you something. Um, these two dish cloths I made um, are a tighter stitch and I actually took a little bit more time with these and um, as opposed to this one. This one stretches and look at that stretch. <laughs> this is a approximately six by inch, six by six inch, but it stretches. So um, that I find, um, I like that actually. So um, that's what that uh, loose stitch looks like. And a tighter stitch doesn't really stretch. And that's why. I mean, it's the same yarn. So there you go. So it does make a difference on the stitch that you're using um, and the yarn that you're using. Now this is a heavier weight than um, these that I also am making dishcloths out of. But guess what? This is Patan Grace. I, that's how I say it. Patton. Maybe Patton's Grace. And um, the, the weight of this yarn is, it's like, it is so light compared to this cottony dishcloth um, yarn. But guess what? You can make dishcloths with this and I'm going to show you some that I made. And I, I made one, it's 100% cotton, the patent's grace. I made this for my dog. And this is a, a tighter, I use like an eight, I'm sorry, I used an eye, or I believe I used an eye hook for this. And I use this uh, little cloth to cool her off. That's what I'm doing. But look at the stretch to it. So this cloth, I'm going to show you some that I made here. This cloth right here started out pretty much close to, uh, this one's a little bit larger, but, um, and this one I wet too. Now I wet, wet my um, testers. I'll make one and I'll wet it because I want to see if my, um, I want to see what it looks like. I want to know what I'm selling in what I, and I can talk about it to people. But this has a very nice stretch to it, <laughs> as you can see. And when you wet it, if you want to stretch it out the other way, you want it to look a certain way or you want it to fold a certain way, cotton is, um, you know, malleable, stretchable. And um, most uh, cottons of the earth are. Um, so this is another, um, dishcloth I made for the kitchen and I put a hook, a little uh, hook on it there and um, this is a heavier um, yarn. It's similar to Patton's Grace but it's not Patton's Grace. It's something else but it's plant based. So this is another earth friendly uh, type dishcloth that can be used. This is all cotton and this is a dish towel that I made and I used a little bit looser crochet we or crochet stitch again and um, I like working with the double crochet and um, so
so uh, it, it just uh, flows, to me it flows nicely. Um, so that's a dish towel. Now this, this is Patton's Grace. This is a heavier um, cotton. This is sugar, I'm sorry, it's sugar and cream. And I'm showing you the difference here. And this is much lighter, and that is the fan blowing, but this is much lighter, um, and it's pretty. It almost has a shine to it, but it is cotton. It's 100% cotton. So, and it's pretty colors. Um, there seems to be, uh, if, if you, actually, let me tell you something. The difference between the sugar and cream heavy cotton you get more of a rustic country feeling with that. This one you're getting more of a modern day uh, feeling. And um, I like to work in back loops, so that's kind of what you're seeing the ridges, why you're seeing the ridges. I work in back loops a lot. I love the look. These I haven't tied off yet, but these are also a work in the back loop. And um, these are Patton's Grace again. So um, the colors that you have to select from with Patton's Grace, as I show, here's the colors. I mean, look at this, orange, magenta, you've got teal, and this is 100% cotton. I love that. So it's lighter, and to work with it, I'm going to be honest, it takes lo <laughs> longer to crochet. Uh, to work with sugar and cream, I can fly through. Uh, these dishcloths. So, um, well, you know, whatever, but I mean, it's better timing. Let's put it that way. Depending on what stitch you're using, um, and this, this was, I used a couple different stitches here, and because um, I wanted a little bit of thickness. So, that's what I got with those. But yes, um, the cottons are durable, the cottons are reusable. Um, they're earth friendly and um, it's a heavier weight cotton like the sugar and cream is definitely easier to work with um, especially if you're going to use a larger hook if it's a lighter weight yarn like the Patton's Grace um, it is going to take you in my opinion it's going to take you a little bit longer then I encourage you to experiment with um, with your different yarns. And then after you do, if you're selling them as a uh, dish towel or dish cloth, test them yourself because that way you can see if your tails are staying in, your weave, um, and really um, how they, they behave when they're wet. And, um, you know, and as with all fabrics also, I like to mention this, when you put any uh, natural fibers in warm or hot water, especially if you are alternating them and you're adding uh, soap, <laughs> you're agitating them so they may go down a little bit in size. Now, um, you can uh, definitely keep your size. When they are wet, stretch them. Like um, this one I was showing you is Sophia's. This is her little washcloth, and um, you know, just remember to stretch them, stretch them out a bit if you want to keep your um, your size. So uh, I hope that helps a little bit. If you have questions, please ask me, and um, I will. I would love to uh, hear from you. So I hope that helps and inspires you. Thank you.